Small trapping skunks. Um, what I do is a lot of times during February, at least in our area and a lot of the other areas I talk to guys, the skunks are breeding in February and they're out cruising. They're covering you know bigger territories. They're not just in their home base. Um, so what I do is earlier on in the season, what I've done is I went out and got because they're easy to get. Is I go out and I get uh, deer rib cages, and like a month ago, I'll go out and throw them in spots like this, you know, where there's, you know, them skunks are, are working in their different areas and working through, and uh, what they do is they'll come up and start hitting it, and it keeps them working the area so I can catch multiple skunks, and then uh, what I'm, I'm not going to do is I'm not uh, going to set a foothold on this because of birds of prey or, you know, whatever, but what I'll do is, is I'll throw some bait back in there generally you know like uh you know something i'm, I'm baiting with you know maybe cut off some of that if there's still some meat left on it or uh some beaver carcass something like that I'm just gonna wire right off of this tree right here I'm using the 155s. I like using the 155s for skunk trapping because they're a smaller trap. They hit real hard, and uh, you know I don't seem to get the, the the spray that sometimes I will with the bigger ones. You know nothing's perfect, of course. It's pretty simple. You know, out trapping skunks. Um, nothing, nothing difficult about it. Pile a little bit of stuff up on here. More camouflage for something I might like, rather than the skunks. But uh, this is private property. That's why I'm using the orange ones on the private property. I wouldn't use these on like public ground or nothing. But you know, you make sets just like this, and uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna catch skunks. And uh, I mean, there's money to be in trapping skunks. I mean, is it always smell the best? Now, is your uh, sweetheart gonna love you the same as when you left in the morning after trapping skunks? Well, the good ones will, but probably not. You know, but there is money to be made in trapping the skunks. Um, you know, especially with the down fur market and stuff, you get out this time of year, you can really pile up quite a few skunks. You know, you get ten, fifteen dollars an ounce for the skunk essence. You know, and uh, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight bucks out of the hide more if you get a real good, you know, striped one. So, I'm gonna do take some of my skunk lure. Put it right back in there. We're good to go. I'm using my skunk lure as uh, extra attractant on them. Uh, this, if I was trapping these later in the year, I'm not using the meat and stuff like that. I'm just using the skunk lure. But this time of year, uh, you know, a lot of times the animal's diet's different, and uh, the skunks are real attracted to the meat. That just gives them a little extra spice in their life uh, with the skunk lure. And uh, you know, generally what I'll do is I'll put in a you know, like on a, on a bait like this, I'll put in a couple of them. Right in the same spot. I put up to, you know, if I, like out the, I, there's a bunch of, uh, Skunk tracks coming in out of here. There's a trail right there. There's a couple over here on the other side. Um, you know, they've been working this whole area. And because, uh, like, uh, I've been watching them work it, I've, but I haven't set them yet because I've been uh, coyote trapping. Like, the coyote that uh, came back to life in my truck was right over here, just about a eighth of a mile or less right over here. So, I've been walking past these skunks, and this is the end of walking past them. But like I say, I, sometimes I'll set three. Generally, I'll put two, two sets like this on one of these baits. And what it does is, it's not that you can't go catch skunks otherwise. What it is is, is that I'm keeping them in the area where I want to 
you know, have them pinned down on. It's a lot easier for me to come here where I know where they are than just wander all over here on the hopes that, you know, the skunk happens to come through there. This way, they're right where I know where, I know where they are. These little buckets work awesome for skunk trapping. Just like so. And, uh, you know, you make sets just like this, you know, you're going to be picking up skunks. No doubt about it. And uh, putting the bait out definitely helps.